Um, in keeping with my last post, I thought I would talk to you about wolves again um, by talking about something else entirely. Um, I just finished a book called The Song Lines by Bruce Chatwin. Um, great book if you haven't read it before. Uh, Bruce Chatwin's a pretty famous um, travel writer and ethnographer, and he's talking all about <clears throat> uh, the Aborigines down in the outback. Um, but in the book, uh, referred to um, Conrad Lorenz, who wrote extensively on the idea of ritual combat as it appeared in other cultures. Um, but now the book I'm reading right now um, sort of tied into that idea, and I thought the similarities were worth mentioning. Um, it refers to this, uh, this accord that occurs between predator and prey um, called the conversation of death. Uh, and you see it in big predators like cougars, wolf packs, um, and bears. Uh, and it's that moment when the predator and the prey are facing each other, and it's sort of this tense moment where they're just sort of staring each other down. Um, and this conversation of death uh, struck me as, as being eerily similar to the examples of ritual combat that were talked about in, in Bruce Chatwin's book. Um, so the idea that a ritual combat takes place between predator and prey, and it takes place in this thing called the conversation of death. Uh, and it goes on to talk about how in the wild, um, the quintessential um, interaction between predator and prey is this conversation of death, this, this, um, this staring down, this posturing. Um, and it's not a foregone conclusion that the prey is going to be killed by the predator. Uh, it's through this conversation of death that the outcome of the conflict is resolved. Um, so, uh, for instance, if a, if a deer or an elk is, is wounded or sick, this will be communicated in its posturing. Uh, and uh, in the same way, if, if, a, if, a, if a buck is healthy, um, this, this is going to be communicated in his posturing and the wolf will leave him alone. Um, the interesting part comes is where when we talk about domestication and its effect. Um, and I gave an example of, of when wolves um, tear apart an entire flock of sheep or go into a chicken coop and kill all of the chickens. Um, and it was sort of the idea that domestication has bred out this, this ability to communicate, this ability to partake in the conversation of death. Um, so when a wolf goes into a, um, into a flock of sheep and, and tears them all apart, it's an inability on behalf of the sheep to, to properly communicate this conversation of death. Um, and this has occurred primarily through uh, domestication. Anyway, um, I hope that all made sense, but I thought it was very interesting. Now that is my... Um, my vlog on wolves and ritual combat. Um, and I am fascinated by ritual combat, so maybe I will come back to that at some point.